to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing an unboxing video for zebra skimmers over in the US. So you may be wondering what a skimmer is. So a skimmer removes tramp oil out of your coolant. Uh, now tramp oil is uh, lubrication or whey oil that leaks down over time um, in your machine, whether it's be a lathe, the mill, whether that be CNC or manual. So that tramp oil laying in your coolant actually has a detrimental effect on its longevity. And it's important that we get that oil off and get it out of there, okay? And that will prolong our coolant life and of course allow the coolant to do the job that it was designed to do. So why don't you guys come in a little bit closer and we'll unbox this box today from Zebra Skimmers and just have a look at, at the skimmer that they sent me here today. So earlier on I spoke about oil or tramp oil in the coolant. I thought I'd bring in a plastic container just to show you what it looks like. Now I've got some cutting fluid here. Probably motor oil would work best and that would be, it would stand out a little bit more. But if I pour it in, I'm going to shoot from the, another camera to my left. You can have a look how the oil floats on top of the water. Okay, now this is good because the skimmer will allow to recover that oil off the top of the water and get rid of it. All right, so like I said, this is not the best oil. This is uh, a mixture of cutting oil and some coolant, I believe. So some of it has sunk to the bottom. However, if we come in from this side camera angle, we can actually see when I put my fingers into the water and just skim it across the surface and pull it out, you'll see the oil dripping off my fingers, okay? And that's what the skimmer is gonna grab today. Now, this is probably not big enough for the skimmer. You've seen me when I unboxed it, you'll notice there's a motor and a large disc. So this is a disc type oil skimmer, not a belt type, right? So let's give it a crack. Let's put it together and see how it goes. Now here's my oil skimmer out of the box. You can see it's um, Zebra original disc skimmer. It's got the motor and a housing here. I believe the motor is fan cooled. Uh, when I plug it in, you can actually see it working. Now that it's plugged in and turned on, you can see that the motor rotates very, very slowly. So I'll stop that and insert the disc into the skimmer. There's two Phillips head screws on the shaft. And we just slide this in and rotate it until the two screws line up. And I'll tilt that over for you so you can see it. You can see this large disc now. To me, it feels like a polycarbonate disc, not acrylic, but I'm unsure. So in with our two screws. Like I said, very easy to assemble. Now you may be wondering or asking me, well, how does this thing work? So with the disc sitting in the water and as it's rotating, it will, the oil will stick to the disc, come up around, hit the wipers, run down. When it run down the wipers, it will flow into these two channels and out, all right? So this is rather small, but let's give it, give it a quick hit and see if it works. Now, I'm going to try and step out of the shot a little bit. I'm sorry the cord may be in the road of this camera. But in my right hand, my camera where I'm shooting from the right hand side, you can actually see the oil skimmer pulling that oil off the water. And I'm quite surprised just how well it actually works. It's ripping it out. Very, very efficient. You can see the oil running into the container, no worries at all. Now, like I said, it would have been better had I bought a bigger tank to show you. And uh, let's face it, my mounting style here is not the greatest. However, for performance, I tell you what, it's really performing well. It's just ripping that oil out of that water. I'm surprised just how well it's actually working, to be honest with you. Now the wheel was skimming the back of the disc, the tank here, so I've moved that. 
but I am very, very impressed with that, to be honest with you. It would work actually better had I had more water in the tank, but you can see the skimmer is working rather well. All that oil is just pulling straight off the top there. I'm pretty impressed, I have to say, I'm rather chuffed with it. Now with everything, there's always pros and cons. So one of the pros for a disc skimmer is that it removes copious amounts of oil from your contaminated water. Does it rather fast and does it rather efficiently. Now a belt skimmer will also work. I believe Zebra does sell belt skimmers as well. However, it's not as fast as this, okay? I think the disc outperforms the belt, but don't quote me on that. This is just my opinion and it's based under no scientific uh, documentation or anything, just from what I've experienced with belt skimmers and disc skimmers before. And I can tell you now, most of that oil is removed from the water. I'll slush it around a little bit. Of course, with your coolant, it also helps too. I've seen some machinists keep their coolant aerated as well. And it's just like any sort of water. You know, you've got to check your pH levels, your concentration levels. Keep a good eye on that to maintain good, healthy uh, coolant water or coolant in your CNC machine. Well, there's not a question of doubt that that's ripping that off. So I'm going to turn it off for a moment. Well, that concludes today's video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, I was very impressed on just how well this actually worked. Now, there's a few key points that I didn't mention in the video. Now, when Zebras uh, send you the manual for this, they actually state that it only needs to be run a few hours a day, okay? Now, if it stops picking up oil, it says your coolant has turned to a biofilm and to contact them on some advice on how to do that. Another good point to note is that the disc and wipers have a lifetime warranty and if they ever need replacing to contact Zebra immediately and they'll, they'll see to that. Apart from that, all other parts are warranted for about one year, okay, of normal use. So in closing, um, yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed. I can't wait to give this a try out in the Haas TL2 lathe. Um, I've got plenty of room to mount this in there and uh, obviously I'll have to do a little bit of work with the mounting kit. I'll take you over to the lathe while I'm talking here at the moment and show you what I'm talking about um, to mount this in the coolant tank. It may have to have a little bit of modification to the top tray in the tank as well. But anyway, I appreciate you following along today and uh, like I said, get one, get yourself a skimmer and get to work and keep your coolant clean and uh, helping it to last longer and do its job. Thanks again. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.